Good morning. Have any of y'all ever played Follow the Leader? I bet you all have. You know, the game where there's one leader and everybody else does what the leader does. We follow the leader. Okay. You know, following the leader, the game, we kind of see that happen all throughout our life. You know, we see people that want to be the leaders. And we see others that are happy to be the followers, part of the group that helps make whatever the leader is talking about or wants done. Well, those followers, they get it done. We see that. I bet you see it at school or on a sports team or even at dance. You see the kids that like to lead. They like to organize an activity or a project. And then you see the kids that like to take those suggestions from the leader and they work together and they make that project, that activity happen. We need leaders and we need followers in our world. Well, today we're going to hear about a man in the Bible who God has chosen to be a leader, to lead his people the Israelites out of Egypt. You see, the Israelites had, been tr had not been treated well at all by the king, and they had worked hard, and they had suffered for a very long time. Now, God wanted someone to take charge, to lead them out of Egypt, where they would find a better place to live. And the story tells us that God chose Moses and guess what he spoke to him from a burning bush now I don't know about you but if I saw a bush burning and it didn't burn up and the voice of God came out of the bush I'd be really scared and you know Moses was frightened too but he listened to God and God told him to remove his shoes he was on holy ground and Moses did, and he listened to the voice of God speaking to him from that bush. And God said, asked Moses to go to Egypt, to lead his people out of Egypt, to be away from the king, and to lead them into the promised land, to lead them into a better place to live. <laughs> wow talk about a really important job well Moses was like uh, I can't do that I'm not qualified to do that he said who am I Lord that I could do such a job he asked God who am I that I can do that I can't do that you know we all are faced with things every day that we think we cannot do. The things that God wants us to do and we're scared and we think we can't do it. And that's the same thing that was happening with Moses. Who am I, God, that I could go and lead your people out of Egypt? Why me? I can't do that. But listen to what God says to Moses and he's also telling us the same thing God gives Moses a very simple answer he says I will be with you and that's all Moses needed to know that God would be with him God would be right there by his side gave Moses the confidence to go and do the job that God asked him to do. It's that simple. When God asks us to do something, to share his love, to be kind to someone, to help someone that is in need, he knows that we may feel just like Moses did. Why me, God? Why, you, why do you want me to go do that? I can't do that. But he promises to be with us. I will be with you. And when 
we have God with us. We can do anything. There's nothing that's impossible when God is with us. And so we can go and do the job, the task, the act of kindness that God wants us to do. And we can do it. And we can do it well because God is with us. So the next time you see someone in need, someone sitting alone at school that needs a friend, and you think, well, that's not me. I can't do that. Remember. Remember what God told Moses. And remember what he's telling us today. I will be with you and you can go and accomplish great things with God by your side. Can we say a prayer? Dear God, thank you for knowing that there will be times when we are scared to do the right thing, the thing that you want us to do. Thank you for giving us the words of hope and encouragement to be able to do them. With you by our side, there is nothing we can't do. In your most precious name we pray. Amen. Y'all have a great week, and I hope to see you soon.